Various political leaders, among them Police Minister Becky Kwele and Gauteng MEC for Community Safety, Faith Mazibuko, have visited the home of Mapiti Matsena. Matsena was the Gauteng Portfolio Committee Chairperson for Community Safety. He was stabbed at his Pretoria home in Duerenpoort on Wednesday. Matsena was Deputy Chairperson of the ANC under former Mayor Let's get more on this. We crossed our reporter, Patricia Fasahi. Very good afternoon to you, Patricia. We've spoken a lot about this gentleman and his, his political role. Yesterday, his daughter, Sisanda, speaking very emotionally about what type of a man he was and what type of a father he was. What kind of emotions are we seeing outside the house today? <laughs> Good afternoon, Nzinga, and of course, welcome back uh, to uh, the home of uh, the slain uh, Mabidi Mats. And uh, of course, uh, emotions are running high, a lot of uh, people still in shock. Um, it is an incident, as I said earlier, that has been received with a lot of outrage, in particular from uh, his uh, comrades. These are the men and women who ran the political ground, the ANC's political ground with him, um, in particular here in Tswane. And uh, you would uh, remember that after the 2019 elections, he, um, uh, of course, uh, rose to uh, the Gauteng legislature, and it is there that he was of course the chairperson of uh, the community safety portfolio um, alongside his comrades and of course other uh, politicians from other political parties where um, they of course ran the business of the province in particular the safety community uh, safety portfolio law enforcement of course being a priority and as I said um, it is really an irony sadly so that although, although he championed the importance of uh, law enforcement in the country and and in particular in uh, the Gauteng province, him having been the chairperson of the community safety uh, portfolio in the Gauteng legislature, not even his life deterred um, criminals from uh, you know, doing what they did to him. And that was, of course, uh, brutally stabbing him to death here at his home in front of his um, wife uh, and children. So you can understand that there's a lot of emotions. A lot of people are angry. A lot of people are asking questions. And there's a whole lot of questions that are being being asked from whether this was random crime to even the question whether this may have been um, a political hit. So there's so much that um, is being looked at. But the good news remains the fact that the police minister this morning came to update the family with the latest developments, and that is there is somebody that has already been brought in uh, for questioning. And the police, as I said earlier, remain confident that they can actually take information from this particular person, and this would help them to put the necessary pieces of this puzzle together and they can get to the bottom of what happened here and this might help them to crack the case. Of course, this goes to what the uh, National Police Commissioner has already promised, um, that uh, they are uh, deploying a multi-police uh, force to look into this. So let's turn to the Gauteng legislature where he also served uh, there in his capacity. I'm joined now by the speaker in the legislature and that is, this is Me Ndombi Mekwe. Thank you so much for joining us again uh, how does uh, the rest of the members of the legislature feel um, you know following uh, this unfortunate news we are extremely unhappy very angry and and very disappointed that you could lose comrade Mapiti in this particular fashion Mapiti was a champion of Ukai Mulau in Gauteng he made the executive to account in terms of whether you should you call it police brutality, but also in terms of the activities that the police are supposed to be doing. Starting with the lockdown, uh, which started um, on the 26th of March, Mapiti always asks a question as to what is it that the police are doing to ensure that the people are safe on the street. But also you will know that uh, shortly before he died, he's been addressing the media around the issues of Zirbekom because there were police officers, a member of the South African National Defense, Defense Force, and a member of the Correctional Services uh, Centre that were also said to be involved in that skirmish. And, and Mapiti wanted to know why they involved themselves, be it, you know, whether they were doing it as members of the, of the church or whatsoever, but he wanted to know the truth. And we are certain that just a few minutes when he was speaking about that issue and this happens, and we are extremely happy because we have lost a comrade, a friend, a brother, 
but also a champion of law enforcement in Gauteng. We are deeply saddened. Just in short, we have 30 seconds. What are you planning to do to help the family? Well, we have a policy that will cover the, the, the funeral and will work with the family. Up until now, I've not spoken exactly with the family what is it that we're going to do, but we need to share notes and agree, but the family must lead. If the family says we must bury tomorrow, we'll do so. All right, thank you so much. Uh, there, the Gauteng province uh, 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 speaker in uh, the province's uh, legislature, Ndombi Mekwe, there also just uh, sharing her memories of the late uh, Mapiti Matsena here at his home, of course. Uh, we'll bring you more updates. We wait for the EFF, the Red Berets, who have also... Um, told us that they will be coming to the home. They had to arrive around 2 o'clock and it seems like there is still no sign of them here at the home of uh, uh, Mabidi Mazena. So we hope uh, that they might be arriving anytime soon. If they do, we'll come back to you with uh, their details in terms of what their message is. For now, it's back to studio.